Good morning. Welcome to Miss Paula's place today. And I've been thinking about how God created the world with lots of colors. When I walk out in my yard right now, I have lots of different color flowers. Some of them are red, some of them are purple, and not always the same color purple, different shades and yellow. I love looking at flowers and I love going to the lake and I love seeing all the different colors that are reflected in the water and so today my book has something to do with color and if God created the world with all this color all the land and the sea and the skies <clears throat> excuse me he created people with different colors also. We have different color skin, we have different color hair, our eyes are different color, and our teeth are different, our noses. God created us all different, and in a way, a beautiful way, that we are different, even though the color of our skin is different, like the color of the water is different color blue. So today my book is called Colorful World. And it's written by a Grammy writer, Cece Winans, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, Keith Thomas and Elvin Love the Third. And it is illustrated by Melody Strong. Some beautiful watercolor illustrations. Now, I hope you enjoy this book as much as I have. So let's explore the colorful world that God created. Here we go. She wears nose rings with weird things in her hair. <clears throat> Pretty colors in her hair, I would say. She is slightly embarrassed by everyone who stares at her. Do you ever stare at someone that maybe looks a little different than you? Sometimes we can't help it. But look how it makes this girl feel. And when she walks away, you might say she feels a little weird. But... She could rule the world with her smile. Isn't that a beautiful smile? Sometimes just a smile makes people feel good, doesn't it? It's a colorful world that we live in. A beautiful world that we live in. Looks like she has maybe brought some animals, so looking little kittens, to visit a friend of hers, maybe um, a friend in the hospital. Sometimes when children are going through chemotherapy, um, they lose their hair and she's on a, a little IV. So it looks like she brought some things to cheer up the family. Well, he's been cheated, mistreated for the color of his skin. It's like, the gentleman saying, go, go that way, go away. Hmm. He is rarely contrary over what should not have been. No one should be mistreated for the color of their skin or looking different in any way. But he holds his head up instead, and he wears a smile. What motivates him most is what he feels and finds deep down inside his heart. Mm, looks like he's beginning to paint a picture. Looks like he has a gift. It's a colorful world that we live in. Oh, look. He has been awarded a first place ribbon for his painting. 
using different gifts. Hmm. It is important that we celebrate our world of differences. Look at the kids are all different. Some of them are able to skateboard and roller skate. Some are enjoying some things in their wheelchair, but they're including everyone in their play and they all look different. Hmm, think that matters? I don't. What's in the heart matters most? What's in the heart matters most? It's a colorful world that we live in. It's a beautiful world that we live in. We have millions of children with possibilities. And I can't see all of you out there, but I know that everyone watching Miss Paula's Place has lots of possibilities and opportunities in this world. These children have possibilities all the way from Nairobi, different country, to the hills of Tennessee. Do you think it matters where we live? No, not a bit. Our differences can be used everywhere we go. Every hand you touch has a print with a different name. Do you know that, friends? Your little fingerprint is different than everyone else's. So we're all different. What makes this world a better place? What do you think makes this world a better place? It's that we're not the same. Celebrate all our differences. It's a colorful world. It's a beautiful world that we live in. You know, friends, I like this book. It celebrates our differences, the different colors. And I hope that this weekend you can find things to celebrate and you can enjoy being different and enjoy others' differences too. God created us unique and different. And that's a good thing, just like the different colors in my garden. So this week, I hope that you will find all the differences full of love and opportunity. Have a great week. Adios.